Jones. Are you related to uh, Luda? No. Um, so there was a crossroads where we were both invited to an thing, and it had to be one or the other of us, and decisions had to be made. So it was both of us, we were equal. One of us had to cut off all their hair and couldn't do the sideburn thing no more with the points. And the next person they said was going to get $200 million because they were going to pay him $10 million a movie to do 20 movies. And that's how the conversation happened. One of those persons turned out to be ludicrous. Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I want to give you guys Charleston White reaction to Cat Williams interview, man. He had touched on Ludacris response and a lot of people was calling out Ludacris to my surprise by his response. I guess people was just thrown off by Ludacris responded to it in a rap song. You know, he had did a little freestyle and yeah, you know, a lot of people didn't take too kind of Ludacris response. You know, a lot of people just like Ludacris seems even more guilty because he didn't really address what Cat Williams said, he just threw out this random freestyle and Charleston White had touched on that. So I would like to highlight that in today's video. And after that, I'll be right back with some more commentary. Here's a video. Be sure to hit that like button for me if you haven't already. That helps this YouTube channel continue to grow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Stay up to date with all of my current YouTube videos. Peace. Say, uh, that, that nigga Ludacris. Uh, that nigga responded to Cat Williams with a rap song. Yeah. That was the word in the hour, look. Man, hey, listen. That was the crazy. That's what people, everybody overlooking the fact that nigga Ludacris, nigga, he responded with a rap song. That lets you know how fucked up this shit Nigga, if you say I've been at a gay party getting by, I ain't gonna make you no song, nigga. I'm gonna call you a mother. Why you nigga call that nigga? I'm gonna call you on your phone, nigga. You lying? You ain't seen me in no mother. That nigga made a rap. That nigga responded with a jingle. <laughs> Say that let you know he guilty. Nigga come back with a rap song. A hell of a rap song. Nigga ain't rapped in twenty some years. This nigga ain't made a rap song in twenty years. Soon as Cat Williams say, "Hey, I seen you coming out that that, that, that funny room, though, nigga, and with walking bow legged, you were you were you were you were not needed before you went in. You died and rub together. You come out of a bow legged. That boy say, say now he gonna make a song. I ain't never was ever was on my mind. That I ain't that nigga went and made a commercial jingle to respond to Cat Williams instead of saying you a goddamn lie." That's how you call That's how you tell a nigga he lying. You don't go right no bar 16 bar for no nigga. You get on the highway and say he lying, baby. Ain't never, mother ain't never seen me coming out there and play walking bow legged. <laughs> <laughs> say, what? <laughs> I ain't wrong. Say, I don't, ain't the thing because ain't nobody came out and called him a mother. Trick daddy, the only one say, I kick your. I'm a street nigga. Rest of them been, they been talking circles. <laughs> That's why I told you, I only want five million. And I don't want to make too many white friends. Cause that shit come from making white friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quincy, Quincy Jones them was the last nigga. And Dr. Dre and them and did it. They the last nigga to be fucking them boys. Rest of that shit come from them white folks. I want to be on them white folks stages. <laughs> I'm going to keep getting hit in the head with the barbershop. And, and throwing uh, flower pots at niggas. <laughs> this is much safer than getting your shit around. <laughs> I find out nigga got a big white boy got a. Did you want to be in this movie, don't you, Charles? Yeah, I heard you got a. Yeah, I heard you got a lumberjack. <laughs> who told you that? Harry. Uh, how who told Harry? Puffy. 
Who told Buffy? Usher? Who told Usher? <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> that Okay, that's what Charleston White had to say about it, man. And you know what, man? I have to agree with Charleston White as far as that. If somebody is talking about, you know, these Illuminati parties or, you know, people having to do stuff to get these roles and all of this stuff that Cat Williams was pretty much alluding to in his interview with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay, I, myself personally, if I'm not going to address it, then if I do address it, I wouldn't address it the way that some of these celebrities are coming out. You know, like how Kevin Hart, he came out and addressed it by simply promoting another show or movie that he got going on. A lot of people are just like, yo, you know, these guys are not really saying that Cat Williams is lying. So, you know, it's like these responses is coming off as like these guys are just guilty or got something to hide. Or, you know, a lot of people are just saying that, you know, they just shouldn't even respond if they're going to just ignore the elephant in the room, basically. Right. So. What's your take on, on Cat Williams' way? Everybody up on this d distraction. Let me tell you something. It's a distraction. Cat Williams is a very talented brother, and he's very vocal, you know. And my take on the comedians that, that, that he named, when, when, you chime, when you chime in on stuff, it just makes it more valid, you know. If it ain't true, you, you know, all the money you got and all the blessings you got, why you on Instagram going, oh, that ain't true, that ain't true. You, you, you make yourself look guilty. <laughs> and I mean, people say stuff about me, I, I, I holler at you. I ain't trying to bring the internet. Somebody trying to choose a side. Motherfucker, I don't have no side. I got God's side. I got my family side. I ain't, I ain't in that BS bullshit. No, no bullets was thrown at me. I mean, that world, that world is what it is, you know. I mean, the opportunities I got, I thank the Lord for every one of them. And he's blessed me and he can bless you too if you want to do it. But if you sit around worrying about somebody uh, talking about you all day, you're going you gonna to you gonna, you gonna be tired and dead. So, but that's all my take on that shit, man. Um, that's just my takeaway from Charleston White. All the other stuff, I really don't get into it with Charleston White, but I just wanted to highlight that in today's video because Charleston White pretty much touched on the feedback, how everybody was like, you know, just confused why these celebrities are responding the way that they are responding. And um, so, yeah, y'all get in the comment section down below. How do y'all feel about Ludacris response? And how do y'all feel about Charleston White response, man? Get in the comment section down below. Hit that like button if you made this hard video. Don't forget to subscribe up as well. Catch you guys in the next video. And we out, guys. Peace.